I'm grateful to all the wonderful people who have had the patience to sit next to me for months and years at a time and teach me to play a woodwind instrument. Starting when I was seven years old with Chesley Mills, who taught all instruments and struggled with me, to Coleman Block, who was the principal clarinetist of the Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra, uh, Franklin Stokes, who was the bass clarinetist of the LA Philharmonic Orchestra and taught me clarinet, bass clarinet, and saxophone. Uh, when I was a student at USC, University of Southern California, I studied not only with Franklin Stokes, but with Anthony Desiderio, great clarinet and saxophone player, and with the great Mitchell Lurie, who taught me much about music making and the clarinet. I'm extremely grateful to Professor Fred Hemke, who I studied with at Northwestern University and who quickly made me a part of a tour to the Far East. It was a three-month tour. Fred Hempke taught me so very much about the French School of Saxophone Playing. All of those teachers brought me to the point where I met Joe Allard in New York as I was serving in the West Point Band during the Vietnam era. I studied with Joe Allard from 1966 to 1984. Joe taught at the Manhattan School of Music, at Juilliard, at the New England Conservatory, at his studio above Carnegie Hall, and at his home. When I went to Joe for the first time, he had me play a C major scale on the saxophone from middle C to low C. At which time he gently pulled the saxophone out of my mouth, looked at me, and said, Harv, you sound like Harvey Patel trying to sound like someone else. That was the beginning of our lessons, which lasted for 15 years as I finished my three-year term in the West Point Band and, uh, and then returned from Los Angeles to New York numerous times for contests and performances. I'd like to share with you now what I learned from Joe Allard and what I've been teaching for the past 41 years. <laughs> 